Okay, a couple different checks for the BVM here. First simple check, squeeze it, see if it self-inflates. The self-inflation will tell you that those valves are properly working. So when you squeeze it, that compressible body should self-inflate, regardless if there's an oxygen source or not. That's one of the features of a self-inflating bag. Second test, check that inspiratory pop-off. Occlude the patient connection, squeeze the bag with substantial force, and check that pop-off. See if it's holding pressure too. So try not to make the pop-off go. See what it feels like, how the, the compliance of the bag is. And I'll give you an idea once you're bagging too. Final check I usually do is I take off my reservoir and I check that patient intake valve. I want to squeeze my bag. I want to occlude that patient intake valve. And I want to see that that bag stays collapsed. If that bag didn't stay collapsed, then I know I've got a problem with that valve because that bag should only re-expand when that valve unseats and it can only unseat when I take that occlusion away. Those three checks will verify the function of your BVM and give you the confidence that you can oxygenate and ventilate your patient